the way from Texas to catch us a hog, baby. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're still in Portland. If you haven't seen the first couple days of our adventure over here, go ahead and check that out. We'll leave that at the top of the description. But we're actually gonna get into possible smallmouth fishing today, having a bunch of fun, starting off with breakfast in downtown at Mother's Bistro. Recommended by a good friend on Instagram. Go ahead and drop us some DMs. We respond to every single one while we still have the opportunity to do so. We're hoping to hit 30K followers while we're here on our trip. Good way to get the day started, but we're here with Devin and Lauren and we are gonna have some fun today. So join us along for the ride. Mike, thank you for the recommendation. That was Woo! Woo, so good. We are off to try and find some smallmouth. First time we've seen sun in Oregon. So uh, let's have at it, man. It's gonna be low 60s today. So we're headed to go catch some smallmouth. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're gonna check out a couple little spots that some locals have told us about. All right, we have made it over to Cabela's. Let's see what they recommend for these smallmouth in the river right next door, man. Burned my hook. <laughs> got the goods. Lauren's got the hook on the hat. Officially professional. All right, just made it to the park. Tualatin, Tualatin. There's a skate park here. It's pretty dope. But we have a couple travel setups, and we're gonna gear up because the river system is right over here, where the smallmouth are supposed to be hanging out. We've got some drop shot rigs, some Texas rigs, the whopper plopper now, and some jerk baits. Let's go have some fun. All right, the water should be over here somewhere. We got the uh, somewhat of a travel setup here. We got a couple bait casters as well. Seven foot two medium heavy rods travels they cut down into two pieces this one's like very micro and then it extends to probably six or seven as well all right we found a spot at the park that i think is as good as any I believe it's a little kayak drop in no way do you see this it looks so good where's yeah oh there he is oh god oh god oh all right so we did bring some stuff from texas we got some dragon drops, plenty of colors, but I think we're gonna start off with this uh, morning dawn or this like pinkish color. We've got some quarter ounce woo tungsten drop shot weights and then some one knot wacky rig and drop shot hooks. Where them fishies? Let's go to the other place. Yeah, we've got everything set up to where we can just kind of get in the water pretty quickly. Lauren, let's go hit this better spot. This place probably gets hit too much because it's a popular well-known park and this is like the ramp. So this specific place is probably overfished. The next spot is kind of like low key through a neighborhood, not many people would know about it, I think. All right, y'all, so we're at the next spot. There's a public park in between all these houses back here, and the ladies are Just admiring doing the lady the... things. Look how red that is. Yeah, here, let me, let me show the fans. guys so it is now closing in on about four o'clock here in Portland and we've been fishing for about the past four to five hours we've gone all along this Willamette River and we have tried the drop shot we've tried Texas rig we've tried the jerk bait we have even tried the whopper plopper because why not so stay tuned for more fishing because there is going to be some smallmouth logs during this Portland to Seattle trip So off this dock system right here, people are catching these huge sturgeon. I think the one that I'm clicking on is not big, but uh, that is definitely what people are out here grabbing. We are going for smallmouth, and uh, I think a lot of people are getting hits over here by these rocks. I'm gonna tie on a rattling net. I've got this, uh, I think it's like a 1 8 or 1 10th ounce mushroom head jig, and then I've got some rattling nets right here on deck. And then uh, big shout out to Over the Peak Outdoors, giving us the the 411 on this spot right here because this is where he caught his PB smallmouth. It sounds like fishing might just be slow today, not for just us. That's the deal. Let me get this thing tied on and we can see if we can't catch our first smallmouth up here in Portland, Oregon. Or I should just say in Oregon since we're not in Portland. There we go. That's a smallie catcher, boys. Okay, so it doesn't seem super deep. There must be like a drop off though. 
the water just constantly pulls you a little bit further. I'm just gonna rattle this thing along the bottom here. I've got bites. I've got bites. No way. so hard for this coming all the way from Texas to catch us a hog baby I'm talking about three quarter pounds ice <laughs> cold ice cold small mouth we're not used to this this is a treat right here wow look at that pattern crazy it's beautiful Woo. I was literally just taking more line off the reel just letting it drop down slow with the current and then <laughs> knew we had it line started swimming <laughs> not really <laughs> Go ahead and get little homie back in the water. Whoa! <laughs> Alright guys, so we finally linked up with our first fish in Oregon. Had a blast out here in Oregon City fishing off a unique spot with baits from Carl's Baits and Tackle. This is where we get all of our lures. And if you guys want to save 30% on yours, I will leave the link in the description below. That is the cheapest place to stock up on Guggen Baits, which we got the guy with on the Rattlin Ned in the smelt color. And I believe it was on the one tenth ounce mushroom heads also from the website. So go ahead and stock up if you're getting after the smallmouth, but we are about to get after some vino, head over to the wine bar, and then some sushi later at Saburo's. So anyways, there's supposed to be a line at this place from open until closed because it's this delicious, so we will catch y'all there. All right, just got Bob parked over here and we're actually right in front of the spot. This is poor, this is poor wine bar. <laughs> Getting a little chilly. I'm uh, trying to stay up to date on my social medias. Just posted the first day's contents of our Oregon trip on to uh, the tube. And I gotta try and respond to all you guys' DMs on Instagram. Let's talk more walk. Let's get in here and try some wine, shall we? We had a Merlot from Washington. It was a 2015 vintage. It was Powers, and it was absolutely delicious. Mmm, I thought the same. I thought the same too. <laughs> Oh, shut the gosh dang it. So we're headed for sushi. We will catch you there. How big the sushi rolls here are. Yeah, this is like three times the regular sushi rolls, guys. Yeah, so we didn't finish anything. We ordered way too much. Whoops. <laughs> like we're taking the whole place to go basically. What's up guys, today's technically day four of our trip. It seems like these vlogs have been in kind of two day segments. We wrapped up sushi last night, came home, went straight to bed basically. We had to stop at CrossFit Primal Energy near the Airbnb, drop Lauren off for some coffee, and then get on with our day. But we're gonna see if this CrossFit place won't let us film inside the joint and get a nice little workout in this morning to start off day four right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Just dropped Lauren off and traffic has stopped because of this train. We gotta go around because CrossFit class starts soon. We're taking an alternative route. Made it to the spot. This place looks pretty dope. The fog over the city looks pretty crazy this morning. Let's get in here and see if we can't film a little bit. Uh, Devin's about to go for a new one rep max. We're gonna see what happens. She's got a bunch of weight on here. Can't even get the slinkies on this thing. Woo! Yo! That's No way! And the plates fall off. Super sick. New PR? So the workout's pretty straightforward. We did six one rep deadlifts, just trying to work up to a heavy weight. Now we are actually gonna do five rounds for time of 25 wall balls, 20 pounds for guys, 14 for ladies, I'm assuming. And, uh, and then 25 V-ups. Five rounds of wall balls and V-ups. Cross 
outfit. I'm gonna come here and get some coffee. I'm super excited. Looks like they have a coffee flight and everything. All right, y'all, I'm here at Nosa Family Coffee, and I got the mocha flight, and oh my god, can you even imagine? Look at this. So this is a bee sting. So it's got chili powder, a little honey, mocha, and then steamed milk. This is going to be a white chocolate mocha, so it's going to have vanilla at the bottom, espresso, and then steamed milk. This is regular, so it's going to just be an espresso with mocha powder and then steamed milk. And this one is going to be the Fuego, so it's going to have chili powder, kind of like that mocha Diablo that Devin and I had the first day. So, homemade chocolate uh, whipped cream. I'm so stoked. Screw CrossFit. Who needs CrossFit when you can do this? <laughs> I'll let you know how they are. So we just finished up dropping into a class here at uh, CrossFit Primal Energy. It was super fun. It was a really awesome workout. I got a new deadlift PR, which I'm super excited about because I haven't done that in a hot minute. And then now we're going to go grab Lauren and probably go grab a bite to eat. Starting route to Voodoo Donut. Head west on Southeast Division Street. Just grabbed some park and pay in the valet for the first time in Portland, and we are going to stop at Voodoo Donuts. Uh, Lauren, what's the hype on, on Voodoo? Guys, when you come to Portland, you have to come to Voodoo Donuts. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on the wall, but there's so many different varieties, and it's going to be the delicious! Ultimate post-workout. <laughs> Got the goods. Now we're headed back to the Casa de have some donuts over coffee since Devin and I missed out on the whole, well you didn't, you got your, oh man, I'm the only one who hasn't had coffee today, so Lauren might be generous enough to make me a cup of coffee back at the table, we'll have some of these donuts that are supposed to be off the chain. Never too much Never coffee, too much so coffee. we're all going to have coffee at the house. <laughs> Screw it. Alright, we're back at the house. Lauren's on coffee duty, Devin's taking a shower. We're all gonna kinda get ready for the evening. We got big dinner plans tonight. I might go ahead and work on a little bit of the edit for today's vlog, cause it's kinda two days. We've been packing two days into each one of these vlogs, it seems like has been the standard. So let's get to work on a little bit of the footage while we charge some batteries. Boom. All right guys, so we finished up our donuts. We all showered and got clean and ready for the day. So we're out getting ready to explore the city a little bit more. It's nice, it's beautiful, it's sunny. I don't know if y'all can even see that. Uh, anyway, so we'll catch you. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go, but we're food gonna go court. grab a, oh yeah, we're gonna go to the, oh yeah, the food court. Food court. So I'll have to catch you up on the name of this specific food court. Yeah, it's been a while since the donuts. Y'all, y'all, it might be instant for y'all, but it's been a second since we had those donuts. We gotta revisit food. We'll catch you there. Just got Bob's two hour parking pass. Really? On Street Market. Let's it. see what it's all about. Back at the ramen spot again. First ever time trying canned sake. If you believe in this, you're not supposed to pour your own sake. So I'm going to let Lauren hit me. Pine Street Market was pretty dope. We ended up settling on Marukan Ramen, which we've already had one time here, but that was the second location in Portland, and I believe it's only in Portland and Tokyo. We need to get these down in Texas, man. Somebody make that happen. We made our way to Laurelhurst Park. There's supposed to be some good fishing here. I think there may not be smallmouth in this pond, but there's definitely a lot of largemouth catches, and we know those pretty well. So let's see if we can't get on some fish here, and uh, yeah, that's what's on the agenda. You're reminding me of like a little 
park out in San Francisco. These hills are hard to walk down after all those freaking wall balls at the gym this morning. <laughs> Holy crap. Just take Anyways, one step at a time. this pond looks sick. I cannot wait to catch some fish out of here. I got a Ned rig and a drop shot tied on from yesterday's smallmouth adventures. Let's see if they won't get anything. Otherwise, we're gonna hit them with the bandito bug. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's go. Here we go. Whoops. How are you? And that is how you get your bait clear with Western Smith. Let's go. This must be a decent spot. I see a lot of wacky rigs hanging from the trees. <laughs> yep, just a little Ned rig. Yeah, that side I think might be better. I'm I'm curious. I'm just trying to hit everything. We'll see. I know they're here though. No, nothing yet. Ah, whoa, that was the first good hit I've had here. Holy smokes. Right after the drop. Mexican girl? Uh, huh? Is it? Oh! We got him! <laughs> He's very tiny. Yeah, he'll fit in the fish tank. Check that out. First Oregon largemouth hitting that natural colored bandito bug. He probably thought it was a baby bass or something. Well, wait, he's a baby. Get you a little bit of that right there. <laughs> All right, let's release this northern monster. Doink. So I was fishing over here, right along the uh, edge of this island. And we finally got our first largemouth out of Oregon waters, man. I had a good tug a second ago too. I was pissed. All right, guys, one and done out here at the ponds. Got the one largemouth, and I caught that tree just then. We're about to split. We're gonna grab some dinner next at Ava Jeans. This place is supposed to be over the top, and uh, we might even go back to Jacqueline's and get a couple more dozen oysters, because happy hour is right now, so we gotta get over there, skedaddle. It's our last night in Portland, and then we're gonna be driving up to Seattle tomorrow, so we got a lot of festivities. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you can see all these future videos, but let's go have some dinner. Thank you guys for spending the last couple days in Oregon with us on the final days there before we took off to Seattle. We didn't film much at dinner that evening, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and drop a like and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>